Next in my Bond collecting series, I'm going to take a look at the Sideshow 12 inch 1 to 6 scale figures, which were released from 2002 until 2007. This video was requested by CSI Lexand a year ago, so apologies for the big delay. I don't own many of these, two in fact, so this video may be a bit short. They are one part of my collection that is majorly lacking, and I intend to get more added to my collection soon. The sideshow figures consist of three sets. The standard 12-inch figures, which were easier to get hold of, the legacy set, the final figures to be released and much more limited, and the premium set, made up of four figures, some extremely limited and very pricey. I produced a spreadsheet in 2013 listing all of the figures available, including how limited they are. The limited to number should give you a good indicator of how much to spend on certain figures. If you see a figure pop up on eBay, you can also decide how likely it is that it will appear again. Unfortunately, I can't remember what website I obtained this information from. Rather than read them all out, I'll just put it here for you to have a read yourself. Also, rather than show pictures of all of the figures and all of the accessories, I'll point you in the direction of cool toy reviews, who have comprehensive details and pictures of most of the figures. A link to their site is in the description. The 12 inch figures come packaged in a rectangular, nicely designed box, with a front flap that can be opened to view the model inside. The front of the box usually has a relevant movie poster or character picture. On the inside of the flap are details of the films, including a list of the cast. The models themselves come with the stand if you choose to take them out and display them, along with a number of different accessories relevant to the character. Sean Connery, Roger Moore and Pierce Brosnan get depicted the most across the series, with six Connerys, five Moores and four Brosnans. The figures themselves can be a bit of a mixed bag when it comes to the design of the head and the accessories included. Women are definitely weaker designs than the men, with Wei Lin really being the worst of the bunch. Having said that, the men don't escape criticism, with T. He and Scaramanga bringing up the rear, closely followed by Dalton and Lazenby. On the plus side, the Dot Dano, Jaws, Brosnan and Connery figures are well designed, with Dot Dano being a particular favourite. Jaws is a good figure to buy, if you can find it, as you do get more model for your money. He stands an impressive 14 inches tall, with a bigger box to go with it. You'll notice from my spreadsheet that four of the standard models came with an additional accessory, released alongside the model without it. These were obviously much more limited, but the only worthwhile model in my eyes is Alec Trevelyan, with an additional scar-free face. The legacy figures, as mentioned, were the last to be released. They depict the first five Bond actors, and are more limited. They weren't much more expensive upon release, but are now much harder to find. It's unfortunate that Craig didn't get featured, seeing as these were released in 2007. They came packaged in a newly designed box, different accessories and a different display stand, and had interchangeable hands. Apart from this, there is not much different between these and the regular figures, apart from the rarity. All of these 12-inch figures are designed to be 1-6 to six scale. Finally, we come on to the premium figures. These are 1 to 4 scale, standing 18 inches tall, and had more chunky display stands. These four figures featured the Bond actors in their iconic Bond poses, dressed in a tux. They were obviously much more limited, and significantly more expensive on release. The Moore and Thunderball Connery figures are extremely limited, and it would be incredibly difficult to find one. The only difference between the Connery figures seems to be the suit. To give you an idea, the regular models were $40 on release, the Legacy figures $45, and the Premium Connery and Brosnan were $225. The Premium Thunderball Connery and Roger Moore were $250. As with most old collectibles, eBay is now your best bet. Some can be bought for not much more than the original RRP. The easier to obtain figures are obviously the regular 12-inch figures but the limited edition numbers don't tend to relate to price. The cheaper figures tend to be Wei Lin, Xenia Onatop, Alec Trevelyan, 
without the limited edition accessories for those. Pussy Galore, Dr No and James Bond from Thunderball. This isn't to say the others never appear though. Just expect to pay much more for them. At the time of making this video, there were some legacy figures available for over $100 and even some premium models, but they are around the $300 to $400 mark. Bide your time and you may be able to pick up some bargains. They're certainly a nice worthwhile addition to anyone's collection.